De Morgan's laws. So this is where we're going to begin looking at the laws under set theory. Okay? So we've already seen how we basically get to work with roster form. We understand the notations of intersection and union. So we face De Morgan's law, as we can see. Consider a case where you have A intersection B in brackets and then you have a complement outside. So what will basically happen is we expect the notation in between to change from intersection to union. And then we expect that set A becomes complement and B complement as well. So you might guess what the other De Morgan's law tells us. So if you look at the De Morgan law where you have a union, what do you expect? So obviously you expect that it will become now intersection in between. Okay, so these are the two De Morgan's law that will guide us as we get to look at set theory. Considering a case where you have A complements, union B, and then a complement outside. So we expect the same to apply. So we'll see that where we have A, it will now become just A. Where we have union become the intersection, and our B will become its complement. Okay, so I'm applying De Morgan's law to simplify this. But the two De Morgan's laws are the first one and the second one. Those are the two De Morgan's law that they can ask you to state and, of course, get to prove. I'll explain later on on how we get to confirm, but understand that those are the two De Morgan's law that you need to understand under set theory. Of course, for the sake of proving, we can look at uh, one example. I'll look at the first one. We have A intersection B complement, right? So we've seen that it gives us A complement union what? B complement. So we can prove this by shading. How? So what does A intersection B mean? So if you have two sets using a Venn diagram, and then this is your A, that is your B. The intersection of B is a region in between there. That's, that's what? That's an intersection. So our rebel right is in A intersection B. Now, A intersection B complement will now be the region outside that. So if you draw the same set, what do you expect? You expect that your A and B, like that. So your complement will be the entire region except A intersection B. That is what you have. Only the region outside A intersection B has been shaded. That is for the left hand side. Now let's look at the right hand side. The right hand side is dealing with A complement union B. So what you do here is, of course you are considering the two sets again. Okay. So these are set A and B respectively. So it's not for us to deal with. So we've already talked about what, of course, we understand these are inverse sets. We've already talked about what the complement is. It means the set outside the given set. So we'll take our left one to be A complement, the other one to be B complement. And then we'll put a union in between there. What does it mean? So A complement means shade the region outside D, A. Everything outside A represents A complement. And then the other set we are shading B complement. Everything outside B qualifies to be so. I've shaded the inner. Mm, okay, like that. So now, union means that you combine the two regions together. So if you combine whatever we've done in our final result, this is now A and B. Union. So 
Now we are now saying this is now the union of A complement with B complement. So if you combine the regions together, if you observe these two diagrams, what is going to remain unshaded? So I'll shade first of all a complement. Since union means that you combine them, I'll shade first of all a complement. So what is my A complement? It's a region outside A. That is my A complement. And then I'll shade my B complement outside B. So outside B. So I'm noticing that there's only a single region that is unshaded, which is in between, right? Which is A intersection B. So if you look at this, which was now on the right hand side, a complement union B complement and then A intersection B complement. So we are saying that the result is what? Is one and the same. So we've proven by shading to say the left hand side is basically equal to the right hand side. Okay? And that has introduced us to the idea of now what? Shading sets. So your last exercise is now, I want you to now to prove the other De Morgan's law, which is A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. Prove, prove by shading. That is your exercise.